Alright, welcome back to the third part of this game. I am so sorry that you all can hear my breathing on the other parts. I didn't realize my mic was like super close to my mouth. I apologize. So anyways, welcome back to my channel and let's just get on to the next playthrough. We left off right here, by the way. Not quite. What? Perfect. It's gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? We'll never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. Okay, got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. This seems a little peaceful. Definitely should not have drunk all that coffee. Oh gosh. Hey! <laughs> That's a keeper. That is funny. I'm just saying, I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you wanna survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was gonna be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Dad! Good eyes, Don. Ew, got it. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. Okay, this camera is a little hard to manage. There you go. I'm over here, Dad. Dad, I, I... Just breathe. Turn off your imagination. Focus on your target. I wouldn't want to do that either. Do I have to do this? Don, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to survive, you need to be strong. That Great shot, me. Don! He looks like that guy from The Lovely Bones, the one that kills salmon. <laughs> That's scary. I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? Dad, it's twitching. I think That's it's. That's totally some... normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about Dad! Oh. <laughs> Damn, that deer got its revenge. In such a sad way. It's like, I ain't going down without a fight. I'm taking you down with me. Of all these basically. stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. Wow. That was intense. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. No kidding. What's over here? Sorry for my sniffles. I have a stuffy nose. After I've Sam been died, having a lot of allergies. My mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. Oh, divorce contract. What does it say? Sam Finch? I don't think I even, like, read the other. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like, something funny was happening, but only he could see it. I think he saw things the rest of us don't. I think he's 
stoppings, the rest of us did. Shouldn't it say, I think he saw things the rest of us did instead of don't? Or I could be wrong. Honestly, I wonder if like a baby's imagination is actually this way. Hold on, sweetie. Hello? First rule, never leave a child Damn, or like a baby like a alone right in now. the bathtub. Ever. Bubbles. Bubbles. What his world was like. Bubbles. I feel like that character from like Nemo, where he's like obsessed with bubbles. You remind me so much of Cal. Oh, okay. Lost in his imagination. The baby ended up dry I mean drowning in the tub because no mom was busy on the phone. Fall. I can see the regret now. Sure is That's sad. And he'd want you to be happy too. Good luck, Kay. Love Sam. That really is sad. Dang. Died in 1977. Aw, he was just a happy baby. Look at him. That's so sad. My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. That's At the time, to climb, it was though. as far away as she could get. Well, like, every time. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. I can't imagine what it was like for her to lose two sons after she'd already lost two brothers. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Crazy. I don't understand why some games like they do put where people's pictures. I'm not too sure. I've always wondered that. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry and yet. His mohawk. Gus died in a poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard. Before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. My 
father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom, were the words that I I now pronounce you husband and wife. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. The whole thing. I'm sure my parents wouldn't tolerate me doing that as a kid. The wind picked up, and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Did she just call them just humans? Rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. The thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, oh, wow, make the music louder. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't, until we found you. Oh, wow. <clears throat> That's sad. She never talked about him, but Mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. Okay, so, um, what else is here? Oh, okay, so, I need to get to through here. a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born a year later. When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. They had such a big family. And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. And they taught like a little class up here? But it didn't last. The beginning Gosh. of the end was Milton's 10th birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. That window. Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. Oh, wow, that's really creative. It's 
Tak aku tak nampak that they just don't really know. They just said he disappeared. Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. Wow. Wonder where he went. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Or maybe he's dead? I'm not too sure. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room until Mom got him a job at the cannery. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to end this video right here. Um, yeah, since like time is up. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I really do hope you all are enjoying this gameplay just as much as I am. It is really different from other games that I have played. So anyways, um, please don't forget to subscribe and also press that bell notification to be notified on my next upcoming gameplay. Bye everybody!